much stuff set. <laughs> yes, sir, McHale, I'd have to give you 4 0 on that engine room. Your boat's as immaculate below deck as she is topside. <laughs> well, that's McHale for you. Runs the tartar ship and the flotilla. Ah, well, I simply follow the high standard you set, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so modest. You should have seen his men when they reported here, Captain. They were raw, sloppy, untrained. McHale, he molded them into a precision unit. I tell you, he's a born instructor. Oh, you're too generous, sir. Why, he's the driving force around here, sir. Why, he couldn't get more out of his men, sir, if, if, if he were a commodore. <laughs> Shall we proceed with the inspection, Captain? Yes. Don't be so modest, and that's an order. <laughs> oh, well, I must say, Binghamton, you oh, certainly right with your men. Usually it's a picture of the president, or at least uh, <clears throat> Gypsy Rose Lee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't uh, know that was there. I guess the men couldn't find any other place for it. Oh, no, 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 sir. On the contrary. The men wanted it here as an inspiration, sir. <laughs> oh, time to change the flowers. Oh, oh go right ahead. <laughs> Shall we move along, sir? <clears throat> Perhaps we should. <laughs> yes, sir, McHale, I'm really impressed. This operation you're running here is as efficient as any base in the Pacific. Well, I'm afraid I can't take any credit for that, sir. All I do is follow the procedures set up by Captain Binghamton at the main base. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm rather curious about that. Uh, why are these men stationed here on a separate island? How oh, have I the on there? Well, uh, as I told you, Captain, this is my prize crew, and I like to keep them separated so that uh, so that nothing will interfere with Commander McHale's unique training method. Ah, there he goes again, sir, hiding his light under a bushel. <laughs> Actually, I'm just a bumbling old tramp steamer man. Captain Binghamton here is the tactical genius, sir. <laughs> here, here. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> Why, he maneuvers his little flotilla of PT boats like, uh, well, like Admiral Halsey operates the Pacific Fleet. <laughs> yes, sir. Born leader, our captain. Uh, let's hear it for Captain Binghamton. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Belay that. that. Belay it. I'd tear it for Commander McHale. Well, he's just a bumbling old tramp steamer man, sir. <laughs> That's right, sir. Let's save the cheering for later, huh? Oh, First, I'd like to see this uh, prize crew of yours in action, Captain. Oh, I, I can do, can do. I'm, I'm sending Mikhail on a special reconnaissance patrol tomorrow morning. You can go with him. Oh, fine, fine. That'll be just great. Oh, uh, Mikhail, uh, drop by the officers' club. I'll buy you a drink. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Mikhail, stop building me up like that. You think I put you up to it? Well, I'm just trying to help you with the promotion, sir. You do a good job on patrol tomorrow, and I'll get what I'm after. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Bye. <laughs> wow. So that... <clears throat> so that's a... McHale's whammy, huh? Yeah. How do you like it? Mister, that, that's got more authority than the Secretary of the Navy. <laughs> what's in it? Well, uh, we sort of make do with what's handy. You know, uh, when we run out of hospital alcohol, why, we use that old reliable torpedo juice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like a drink we get in a little bar back in Norfolk. Oh? <laughs> they call it the death charge. <laughs> Remind me to give you the address. You can try it when you're back there next month. Uh, what do you mean when I'm back there next month? Yeah, boy. <laughs> I told you this drink had authority. <laughs> well, Michaela, I, I promise to keep this on a QT, but uh, as long as you know about it, I might as well tell you the whole story. You're up for stateside duty as an instructor at our PT training school. Me? That's right. Binghamton recommended you. And if you're half as efficient at sea tomorrow as you've been ashore, <clears throat> you got it made. Captain Binghamton's idea, huh? Why, oh, that dirty. Hmm? Ah, uh, I said the glass is dirty, sir. <laughs> uh, Barkey! Come on, another round of whammies over here. Make mine a double. <laughs> And that's right from the Navy brass, and that's the whole story. Why, that double-crossing son of a seahorse. Well, he sure suckered us. What kind of a war is Binghamton running? He gives us more trouble than the Japanese. Hey, let's watch that. <laughs> Sorry, present company not included. I guess that means the end of the old PT-73. What are we going to do, take this lying down, guys? There must be something we can do. Uh, it's too late now. Captain Wilson gets a little let skipper on the patrol tomorrow. We're really finished. Boy, it's, it's just too bad that we're such 
tigers in action. Hey, hold it, Chuck. I think you gave me an idea. Boy, of all the miserable things... I have? Yeah. Now, supposing I wasn't such a tiger on, on that patrol tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Suppose we show that, uh, that Captain Wilson what kind of slobs we can be if we really put our mind to it. Ah, now you read me, huh? <laughs> Willie, do you think that you could dig up a phony sub on that sonar of yours tomorrow? <laughs> I can hear it pinging now. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by for action, boys, because we can show that Navy brass that a nip sub is the only one that can take a dive. <laughs> It's good to be at sea again, Commander. Uh, think we'll see any action today? Uh, action? Well, there are some enemy ships in these waters. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> All right, I'll take over now, Mac. Oh, uh, well, uh, what's the course? Uh, well, 160, I think. 160? Uh, <clears throat> hey, you better watch it, kid. 160 will take us right in the middle of Guadalcanal. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Gee, I, I must have picked up the wrong chart again. Uh, I'll fake it. Contact on sonar, sir. Enemy sub bank 200. Zero, zero. How about a sub? Hey, you guys, Willie picked up a Japanese sub. Check your watches. Oh. <laughs> Who's got it? Who's got the lucky number? 0910. Oh, well, what do you know? I, I won again. <laughs> what the devil's going on here, Mikhail? What is all this? I, 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 I just want a ship's pull, sir. You want that Japanese sub. You better do something about that. Oh, uh, well, yes, you're so right, sir. Uh, all right, turn around fast and head for home. Relay that, is it? Look, I realize I'm only an observer here, but you can't mean that you're going to turn tail and run without firing a shot. Oh, uh, uh, well, well uh, I, I guess it would look kind of chintzy at that. Ah, uh, uh, torpedo man, fire one! Are you kidding? Tube's rusted. I told you to get it fixed. What is all this nonsense anyway? You don't fire torpedoes at a sub when it's still submerged? Oh, well, we do it all the time. Gee, no wonder we keep missing. Closing fast, sir. Oh, my goodness, where? Where is it? Where? There it is. I see the periscope. Periscope? Where? Uh, get ahead. See it? Oh, good heavens! <laughs> Oh, well, do something, fellas. Well, listen, how about setting off a depth chart? Ah, uh, yes, how about that? Uh, set off a depth chart, yes. What depth setting, sir? Oh, details, details, always details. Fire, fire. <laughs> Something's on back there. It's up ahead, you blundering nitwit. Oh, that gets it. I can't go on. I can't. It's no use. It's no use. I haven't got what it takes. Steady <laughs> on, sir. You can't give up now. The men need you. For heaven's sakes, Mikhail, pull yourself together. I can't do this. He'll be all right as soon as he has his cup of hot cocoa. Close contact with that sub, sir. Guess they didn't spot us. Very good, Sparks. I just can't believe it. A man with Mikhail's brilliant record cracking up like that. <laughs> What a performance! I can hear you way down here. <laughs> I really pulled out all the stops on that one. <laughs> that ought to put a singer and big up this little scheme. <laughs> hey, Skip! Uh, I got a real contact, a sub, and it's coming in fast. Oh no! Skip, what are we gonna do? Well, I don't know. Oh, what a spot! Look, if we sink that sub, I'm sunk. Oh, you miserable conniving bilge rat! You're the one that got me into this. Oh, Doug. Hey, now, wait a minute. You're gonna get me out of it, too, buddy. <laughs> What's the pitch, Skip? Hey, pass the word around. We've got a hot one. Come on. Willie, go on over to that sonar and keep singing it out to the bridge, buddy. Go on. Yep. Oh, you captain, you. Come with me. <laughs> Mr. Parker, I got a new contact. Enemy sub bearing 107. Knock it off, Willie. We already did that bit. You don't understand. We've got to fail. Aren't you men gonna do something? Somebody, anybody, Mikhail! I'll take over, Mr. Parker. <laughs> I've pulled myself together, thanks to Captain Bampton here. Uh, hold it, sir. Hold it steady! What the devil is it? Uh, you've always been my inspiration, taught me everything I know. I should have thought of this before. With you at my side, sir, why I can conquer anything. Anything, right, sir? Right. <laughs> All hands, self-callers! Willie, give me a bearing on that sub. 
1107, sir. Ah, 1107. What's what, what, sir? What? Yes, sir. Come to 214. Come to 214. We'll intercept the enemy. Somebody must have spiked his cocoa. Quiet! You're interrupting Captain Binghamton. What's it? Yes, sir. All right, give me the estimated range. Thousand yards and closing. Thousand yards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I heard. Yes, sir. Set the depth charges at 50 feet. Intercept mate, sir. We passed right over his tail. This one is for you, Captain Binghamton, sir. You've earned it. You've earned it, sir. Yes, sir. Fire it, Dutch Hey, we scored a hit! Here we got him! The Nips are coming up on deck! Yeah! Yeah! Good work! Mikhail? No, don't thank me, sir. Thank the captain. <laughs> Without you, we couldn't have done it, Captain Bill. <laughs> it was... It was a real one. <laughs> After all, he did capture the sub, didn't he? He did bring his crew in, the whole a bunch of prisoners, didn't he? Yeah, after putting me through a nightmare. <laughs> so for a while there, Mikhail almost had me believing his act. And you're not gonna send him back to the States. <laughs> Come on, Binghamton, don't be a pea brain. Any man who'd go to all that trouble to stay in action is a lot more valuable on a PT boat than he'd ever be behind a desk. Good day, sir. <laughs> There must be a way. Tell me there's a way. <laughs> Commander McHale just left this for you, sir. Oh, sent my picture back, did he? All right, all right. Excuse me, sir. Shall I autograph it for the Commodore? <laughs>